Peace. I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. Every person that says that they know law, they study law, they have this book. They have either this book, Black's Law Dictionary. They either have Blackstone Dictionary. They either have Bouvier's Law Dictionary. They're all universal law. Okay. Let's go right here. Let's go to the Webster's Dictionary and Thesaurus. Our people hold on to a theory. The theory is that they are black people. See this? Black people. I want to show y'all something about black. Black is not your identity. Black is not who you are. Dictionary, book reference, Webster's. Black is an adjective. What is an adjective? An adjective describes a noun. Black is not a noun. It's not a noun. Very dark in color, depressing, cheerless, darkness, the absence of light. It's an adjective, fam. It's not your identity. It does not tell. When you tell me that when you say to me that you're black, you're not telling anybody who you are to the world. Some some real interesting. This book right here by Brother Cosmo L. Peace. Mur to more, Kemet until now. You got a lot of people talking about they study the ancient Kemetic science, right? How come in the ancient Kemetic science, this right here, hieroglyphics, the symbol right here is mur, which is translated to more. So when you say that you're a ancient black god, what you're doing is saying that you don't know any idea or have any idea what the hell you talking about this is hieroglyphics mer is comedic native more greek adaptation moros latin adaptation more english adaptation more now there are over 50 variations to the word more and you ask you got to ask yourself you got to ask yourself some how come in so-called Black History Month, they don't talk about Moors? If Black really went, if if Moor really meant Black, why don't they ever talk about Moors during Black History Month? Because it's a lie. Black is not your identity. Look, they confuse you by calling Moors Black, but never stop to tell you that the quote-unquote Black race is a theory born in the mind of Johann Frederick Blumenbach. He was a European. He was a hybrid European German. German. And when you look at the dictionary, just look at a dictionary and read it just for a minute. Look at look at what's associated with black. Is there anything positive associated with black? Black and blue, discolored, bruising. You see this? Black ball. You see this? Blacken. To make blacken. Blacken. It's a verb. To make black. That is a verb. You can paint something black. A black eye. Do you see anything good with the word black associated with somebody as a person, as a, as a people? No. Black lung. A disease of the lungs. Black magic. Witchcraft. Blackmail. Black market. Blackness, the quality or state of being black, a blackout, a black sheep. Come on, man. Look, that's just on that tip. That ain't even on a that ain't even on a lawful tip yet. That ain't even on a lawful side yet. That's just your you your appearance. That's just your appearance that you keep saying that you are. You're not black. Look. And then when you look up the lawful. Or the legal definition of black. You see this? Do you see this? By common usage in America. This term in such phrases as colored person. The colored race. Colored man. And the like. Is used to designate Negroes or persons of the African race. Negro ancestry. And when you look at the what the ramifications are of you identifying as a black person. As a person of color. And you see that the news, they always talk about people of color. They switch it up to keep our people confused. It has also been held that there is no 
N-O legal technical signification to the phrase colored person, colored person, colored man, African-American, which the courts are bound judicially to know. So when you identify as a brand colored, colored person, colored man, colored woman, colored people, a Negro, you're not recognized in any court on the planet. You're nothing. This is why police can kill our people and they don't do jail time. They don't get the death penalty because in law, in law, not a belief system, in the law system, you're nothing. You're dead in law. You're dead in the view of the law. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with this right here. Okay. Negro black colored person must seeker. A seeker must learn the origin and definition of these words. Do not forget these words were the property labels given to slaves. Negro black colored people are slave labels out of the book. The Exhumment of a Nation. All right. Keep that in your head. OK. By slave owners, then written into the 1779 United States Constitution under the classification of three fifth clause, three fifth clause. So when you say that you're a black person, you're an African-American, you're an American Indian, you're a Native American, you come under property labels. Three fifth person. All right. During that time. As the great constitution of the USA was written, Negro black coloreds were those who had been reduced, reduced from African nationals to chattel property by the people for the people. This made the slave terms Negro black colored person. All right. Pay attention. Legally, not lawfully, but legally branded upon the African descendants and lawfully enforceable by all U.S. courts. In 1857, the United States marks Negro, right? The United States Supreme Court infamous Dred Scott decision upheld the original denationalization intent of the slave marks Negro black colored. Later in the 1868 Congressional 14th Amendment, the words all persons born, still meaning commercial property, and incorporating the original three-fifth clause written in the U.S. Constitution. It made the newly freed Negro black colored people, see that, believe, it made them believe that they, he or she are citizens. You can never be a citizen. Look up the Dred Scott decision. We can never be citizens because we are from here. We are nationals of the land of the Americas. The truth is, there is no one who is able to make any property a citizen as long as it continues to claim the name property and still nationalized Via ownership of another government. See this? The definition of the words Negro black colored has never been changed in Webster's or law dictionaries, neither any of the three branches of the U.S. government that have jointly enslaved nationals of Northwest and Southwest shores of Africa. This is why. Out of the book, the slave shall serve. It says right here, this is the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Human rights. This is one thing that Obama did do on the positive side. Because Bush, guess what? Bush didn't sign this. Bill Clinton didn't sign this. Nobody signed this. Bush one and two. Nobody signed this. JFK, nobody signed this document. But Obama. And he had orders to sign the document. That's why it says right here, Article 15, everyone has the right to a nationality. 
No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his or her to the right to change his or her nationality. So you tell me why you keep calling yourself black. Why you keep calling yourself a person of color? If nothing in law supports anything that you claiming and you will re be reduced to chattel property. So you tell me so-called black man, so-called black woman, so-called people of color. How come your so-called black politicians don't tell y'all this information? Because they getting paid off not to tell you. That's why. Our self-law and master. Islam.